Martin Valhucht, good morning to you. Nice to see you. Today we're going to take a look at the idea of having something in Gaelic, having possessions. Now we're going to use Geralt of Rivia as an example here. And we're going to start with a phrase that was in the story video about him. If you haven't seen that yet, I highly recommend watching it. There should be a link popping up at the top of your screen to watch it. There are two versions, foundational and intermediate. Intermediate, as the name implies, is a bit more complex. So pick whichever one is most useful to you at the moment. Okay, Gleva. So Geralt here is going to help us explore this grammar point. <clears throat> Having something in Gaelic is different than it is in other languages. Other languages often have the verb have. I have, you have, I had, I will have. It's all have. But Gaelic doesn't do that, actually. So, here's a phrase <clears throat> from the story about Geralt. Ha ech ike. He has a horse. Roach. We're talking about roach. Gleva. <laughs> ha ech ike. Now, the he has is actually ike. Here. He has. That's the ike. And what we're actually saying, literally, <clears throat> is a horse is at him. <clears throat> it's at him. <laughs> a horse is at him. So if you have possessions, like a car, or an apartment, or a, a tablet, or phone, anything like that, it's going to be at you. Yeah. So we're literally saying a horse is at him. That's what Ica means. Ica means at him. Kind of a strange concept when you first encounter it, but it just becomes normal after a while. It's at him. Leva. We, Gallic gives us a chance to look at life from a different perspective. It adds a lot of richness to our life, I think. Certainly has for mine. Yeah. Okay. So, ha ech ike. He has a horse. And all you do is put what you have, or whoever has the thing, in between this ha and ike. So he has two swords. Remember that? Ha da chlaiv or chlaiu, depending on your dialect. <laughs> da chlaiu. Da chlaiv. <laughs> ha da chlaiu ike. Mm hmm. In kersch. Ahun. Yeah. Ach, Gleva. Da chlaiu. Ha da chlaiu ike. Mm hmm. Gleva. So, whatever you have goes in between the ha and ike. Okay. Now, what about if you're speaking about yourself? We're not talking about him or her or them. You know, what about yourself? Well, if Geralt is speaking from his perspective, he'd say, ha, something, akam. So, ha, da, chlayu. Ooh, getting close to the edge of the board there. Ha, da, chlayu, akam. That's what he's saying. Got two swords. Shouldn't I? <laughs> so in my videos, whenever the verb have or has come up, comes up, this is what I do. This is my action. Like you have something in your hands. Yeah. That's what Geralt's saying. And if we're looking at Geralt, him? How many swords does he have? Like, who is he? How many swords does he have? Because if you see someone with two swords in the Witcher world, you know who they are or what they are. Ha da chlayu ike. I guess ha ech ike. Roach. I think 
my horses, my horse drawing could use a bit of work, but that's not too bad. Cleva, <laughs> show roach, show dach layu. Ha erch ikke, ha erch ikke, ha erch ik gerald. I guess ha dach layu ik gerald. Ha dach layu ikke. And from his perspective, ha dach layu akam. Ha erch akam. Leva. <clears throat> okay, Maha. So, that's all well and good. Perhaps you've seen this phrase already. Usually talk about pets or things like that. Ha kacht akam, ha ku akam, etc., etc. <clears throat> but, what if you have something in a different time other than now? What if you had something in the past or will have something in the future? Let's look at that now. So, he had a horse. Va ech ikka. <laughs> he had a horse. Mm -hmm. He had a horse. So the had is va. So our phrase for, you know, something being at you doesn't change. The time in which it's happening changes. So ha is now. Ha ech ikke. He has a horse right now. But in the past, va. Va ech ikke. Va. Va. Mm hmm. I have two swords. Leva. Okay, Maha. So, va ech ikke. Va da klayu ikke. All right. Klayu. Klayu. Erigach. Va da chlayu ikka. Va, va. So our va means it's in the past. Ha is in the present. Yeah? So what we're saying here is a horse was at him. Was at him. Va. And if you're familiar with your with some verbs in Gaelic, maybe you've come across va already. Va means was. So there it is. A horse was at him. Va ech ikke. Va. Before, but now. Ha ech ikke. Ha. Ha da chlayu ikke. Va da chlayu ikke. Le va. So what about from his perspective? <clears throat> va, let's use roach again. Va ech akam. I had a horse. Va ech akam. I had a horse. Mm -hmm. So had, right? Va. Va ech akam. Akam means me, I have. Me, akam. Gleva. Ike is he has. All right, gleva. Okay, so if it's in the present, we're going to say ha ech ike, or for ourselves, ha ech akam. For the past, va ech ike, or va ech akam. Okay, what about the future? <laughs> I will have a horse. <laughs> Be whatever. Go with ech. Oh, uh, oops, ikka. We're looking for ikka here. Ikka, ikka, ikka. Ikka. 
All right. Leva. So he will have a horse. Mm -hmm. So we're in the future now. And we know that because of B. B is future. Well, we can make this a bit more precise here. Leva. Mm -hmm. Bi ech ikka. Bi da chlayu ikka. Bi. Bi. My video is when I use the future. Usually I point towards the future. <laughs> That's a sign that we're talking about the future here. Bi ech ikka. Bi da chlayu ikka. Once he finishes his witcher training, goes to the trial of the grasses, becomes a full witcher, then he gets his double swords. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. What about from his perspective? I will have. I will have. B. Ech. Akam. I will have a horse. How will you get to Oxenfort? Oh, I'll have a, I'll have a horse. <laughs> or Novigrad. How, how the heck are you going to get all the way to Novigrad? Oh, I'll have a horse. <laughs> I will have a horse. So if you're getting a new pet, new car, new flat, new anything, you would use this construction. We're just using the Witcher um, the character and some features of the world to to make things memorable. But you use all these phrases and structures for things that matter to you, that are relevant to your life. That's how it is for all my videos. Even if the, the, the story, the characters aren't really your thing, you can still gain a lot of useful phrases to talk about your own life. That's how I design them. <clears throat> okay. So, bi ech akam. Bi Ech, nee, akam. Nice. <laughs> okay. So these three tenses are the most common ones you'll see. You'll see the present, the past, and the future. Now there's a fourth one <clears throat> I'm going to share with you because I want your Gaelic to be very strong. Even if using these is tricky at the moment, the main thing is to understand what folks are saying. And then as you get repetitions of that, you understand first and, you know, you get some repetitions of that to reinforce it in your mind. Then one day you'll be able to use it much more naturally yourself. So I'll give you this one too. Okay. So. Wir ich ich. He would have a horse. <clears throat> and just like with the rest of these, we're saying at him. So a horse would be at him. A horse would be at him. Would be at him. Oh, worst. At him. Yep. <clears throat> and then, oh, I didn't write that in for B. B. A horse will be at him. B. <clears throat> it can be useful to look at the literal meanings of the phrases. That can really help us understand the words. Mm -hmm. It's also important to know the equivalents, so we, we need both here. All right, so wir, wir is would. Wir is would be. <laughs> so wir ich ikke. He would have a horse. Wir ich ikke. Wir da chlayu ikke. 
Čin kerst. Vie kleju Stalin, kleju Edigic, ik Geralt. <laughs> yeah. When do you use vie? Well, this is talking about hypotheticals. So talk about the feature and say, um, let's see. I, I would have lots of money if I didn't lose it all in Gwent. <laughs> that kind of thing. I would have lots of money if I didn't bet, um, bet it away in horse races. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing. So hypotheticals. Also, you can use this to talk about things you do regularly in the past. So he would, he would have a horse all the time. He would, he would have two swords all the time. Hypothetical, um, but also, um, let's see, happened often in the past. <clears throat> and a way to think about this is, at least where I'm from, there's the joke, you know, that these days um, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of school um, pupils, a lot of students, you know, get on the bus to go to school. Well, not during COVID so much, but, you know, um, before, before things got, um, got tricky, got complicated and, you know, unsafe, you know, students would go on the bus to school. But my grandfather, he would, he would walk uphill both ways to school in, you know, not very good shoes. <laughs> he would do this. So in English, we do use this. I would drive to work every day in the past. I would drive to work every day. I would drive, you know, an hour one way to get to the city. I would, I would make pancakes every, every Sunday. We do this. We do this a bit in, in English too. So it's not all that strange. <clears throat> and this, this will pop up occasionally, this tense, but really these three are the more common ones. Okay. Wir er ecke. He would have a horse. So if we're talking about Geralt, you know, way back when, years ago, oh, you know, before he retired, he would have a horse, he would ride around, he would hunt monsters. We're going to use Vig to talk about those things. Yeah. Vig da chlayu ikka. Vig ech ikka. Yeah. Gleva. All right. Now, what about from his perspective? So I would have two, hor two, two horses. <laughs> Why not? Why not have two horses? <laughs> I'd have two swords. So it's going to be just like this, but we're going to change the end here. Vig. Let's do er. Akam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have a horse. There we go. So if you're talking about things that you have, your sentences are going to usually end with akam here. Akam. At me. Talking about possessions, things that are at you. If you're talking about him, you're going to use ikka. Mm -hmm. And then there are also these uh, versions of this for she and them and you all and all that kind of thing. And you, so there, there are different versions here. But this is the general pattern here. How, to, how you talk about having something in different times. ha ech ikke. He has a horse right now. va ech ikke. He had a horse. Bi ech ikke. Bi ech ikke. He will have a horse. Maybe Roach ran away or got stolen or who knows what. Oh, but he's going to have another horse. And then, you know, he would have a horse with him in the past. All the time. Vig ech ikke. Yeah. Gleva, maha. Gleva. So here we have it. How to talk about having something in different times. Talking about Geralt of Rivia as an example, and then also how to turn that around and talk about yourself. All you do is plug in words here that are relevant to your life. If you have two witcher swords, by all means, talk about having them. Or a horse, go for it. 
<laughs> but these can be used to talk about anything at all. All right. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next story video. Gleva.